Hello, I'm Matthew Tulare, a student at Confederation College in the Interactive Media Development Program. Today I'm here to talk about how you can create a Nintendo Entertainment System and many other retro consoles using a Raspberry Pi and a few simple tools. Recently, Nintendo has released their Nintendo Classic Mini, which is essentially a small light NES that you plug into your TV and that's about it. You can enjoy up to 30 games for the price of $59.99, but hold on, only 30 games? With Raspberry Pi, you can emulate any and all games in the NES library for only $35 and some hard work. Before going into what hardware and tools we'll need, we'll need to start with how to get the games and what you'll need to emulate them. You can download the games, known as ROM files, from various websites, and you'll also need to download an NES emulator. A general rule of thumb is that if you're going to download a ROM or an emulator, you need to make sure you own a physical copy of the product yourself. Now that we have our emulator and some ROMs, it's time to get the Raspberry Pi set up. We'll need a Raspberry Pi, of course, a 4GB or more SD card, a USB controller or USB keyboard, a TV or monitor, and a Windows, Mac, or Linux computer. Once we have all that, visit this website and download the RetroPie software, but make sure you download the appropriate RetroPie SD card image for your version of Raspberry Pi. Once it is finished downloading, which can take some time, extract the files onto your SD card. You may need to use software to extract the image. I recommend using Daemon tools if you're using Windows. This can take up to several hours depending on how many files are involved. When it's done extracting, simply put your SD card into your Raspberry Pi and hook it up to your TV and or keyboard. Your initial setup is now complete. And that's it! You can now play a variety of retro consoles on your Raspberry Pi. Once you start it up, it'll boot into the start menu called the Emulation Station. From here, you can configure your hotkeys, controls, emulation settings, and more. For more information on uploading ROMs and connecting to your Wi-Fi, visit this website and follow the steps provided. I hope this short guide helped and encourages you to maybe hold off on that miniature NES and try to learn something new by making your own mini NES with Raspberry Pi. Thank you for listening.